Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're going to jump into a first impression, demo, swatches, and my thoughts on the new Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Now this is the very first palette that I've ever bought from Jeffree Star. I've heard a lot of good things about the formula and the amount of product that you get with all of his palettes, but none of the other palettes that he has, the colors don't really call to me. But the second that I saw this new palette come up like on Tread Mood, I was, I was shook. And I kind of hate myself for saying that, but I was shook. And I knew I had to have it. So thankfully, I was actually able to get onto the website the day it released and pick up the palette, as well as the little bundle of all of his lips, the, um, the mini liquid lipsticks and all the red and the pink tones. The Blood Sugar palette cost $52, I believe. $52. I got free shipping because I did hit over 100 with this and the lipsticks as well. According to the Jeffree Star website, this palette is vegan and cruelty free. It has 18 striking eyeshadows and pressed pigments. The palette is serving three luxurious formulas, matte, metallic, and pressed glitter. So on the back of the palette, it does list all of the ingredients for everything along with the, um, like the net weight, how much it is, his website, his Instagram, and the YouTube page. And each shadow weighs 1.5 grams. It's a lot of product that you're getting right there. And there's 18 of them. So I really think that per gram, this is it's priced very reasonably considering also what you're seeing for $52 like at Sephora. So the packaging is st stunning. Like this feels really, really luxurious. It has like a VHS feel to it. Those of us that are old enough to know VHSs. So it pops out just like that. And it feels, I just wanna sit here and do this. So it feels kind of like, it's a pleathery, but like a nice kind of pleather. It has blood sugar there and you have little clips right off and then you open it and this is what the palette looks like I have to say not only are these shades beautiful but the packaging is perfect I like that it's red so that if you do get fallout you'll see in the demo I do get a little bit of um, fallout as I'm dipping my brush in but you can't really like the palette's not going to get dirty because it is red and I like that the palette opens up all the way like this, flat. The palette does open up all the way like this to use the mirror. I hate it when palettes only open up like this far. Like how am I gonna like use a mirror like that? No. It opens up all the way and the mirror is huge. So I did do my whole look in just this mirror and I had no problems whatsoever. So as you can see, these pans are very large in comparison to a normal eyeshadow palette pan. You do get 1.5 grams in each pan. And I'll go ahead and throw in my swatches of each one of these shades right here so you can see live swatches. I won't use any primer. I won't use anything other than my fingers on my arm.
can see from the swatches, these shadows are incredibly pigmented and they are beautiful. So I want to go ahead and jump into the demo of this look right here. I am also wearing one of his liquid lipsticks in the shade Calabasas. And I have to say, like, just... I'm loving everything about the application process. Let's go ahead and jump into the demo so you can see how I created this look. Hi guys, welcome to the demo. So I don't have anything but primer on. I did do my brows and I've got primer and I set it with just a, um, a light shade from the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. And I'm really excited to jump into the blood sugar palette. Okay, so this is my first time jumping in. So this is what the palette looks like beautiful so i am gonna start with the shade tongue pop as my transition this one right there pick up a little bit of powder i do love the mirror in this it looks beautiful it's nice and big too That blended out like nothing. Easy as hell. It really does make a nice light transition color. It's showing up a little bit more like red on camera, but it is like a nice pinky orange. I am, in, like, I am enjoying that one. Though if you can see, it did kick up some powder on the palette. <laughs> okay, so I'm really feeling all the dark shades on the bottom row, so I do want to use two of those. And then I really want to do kind of like a halo, maybe a cut crease with the candy floss color because it's that pink is calling me. And this is actually going to be like my look for a Valentine's Day date out. It is like the Friday after Valentine's Day, so it's not actually Valentine's Day, but we were busy on Wednesday. Like it's, could Valentine's Day not be a Wednesday? Could it just be the, it could just be like the when the Friday of the second week of February and everyone would be happy. So. So I'm going to switch brushes, my Morphe M443, and I'm going to jump into Cherry Soda, which is like a nice red. Again, it does kick up a little bit of powder, but let's see. Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty. God, that took like two seconds to blend. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that in and over, and then I'm going to use my color switch, then I'm going to use my color switch, shush, 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 shush. and the next color I want to go into is Fresh Meat, which is this nice right there. I'm just going to pat the color on first and then blend it a little bit out. beautiful so I have to say these are blending out like like nothing like it takes two seconds you just I'm loving this <laughs> it's crazy I am getting a little bit of fallout down here I didn't wear tape today I'm trying to not wear tape as much I don't think it's really great for your under eye so I'm just gonna clean it up with a makeup wipe once I'm done with the look and I move on to like liner and stuff so now I'm going to grab concealer and do like a half cut crease and then go in with candy floss. I will say Candy Floss is a lot softer than a couple of other shimmer shades that I've worked with, so I did dig my brush in a little bit. With this formula, you really don't have to dig in like I do with some of my other eyeshadow formulas. You can really just lightly brush your brush on top and you'll get a brush full of product.
so I'm loving the look so far. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this edge, throw on some liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I threw on some liner, mascara, and some lashes. These lashes are new, so they're not quite as nice, but I do like how big and fluffy they are. They are the Ardell Double Wispies. And then for liner, I used the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Star Liner. I only used the black part. I'm not a huge fan of this glitter part right here. I am loving the look completely. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face makeup and I'll join you back for the intro. <laughs> All right, so that's the demo and how I got this look today. I am loving it. I'm actually going out for my Valentine's Day dinner tonight. It's the Friday after Valentine's Day and I love everything about this look, especially the lip. I love how the lip ties into the palette and just, just overall I'm loving it. So my last thoughts on this palette. Do I think it is worth $52? Of course. I think with between the packaging, between how much product you're actually getting in the palette, I, I have palettes that I've purchased where you get like half the amount of product and I paid the same price for it. So I think with the amount of product that you're getting, how pigmented they are, how well they blend out, 100% worth it. If you guys would like me to do like a three looks one palette or just do a few more looks with this palette, I would be more than happy to do so. It is gorgeous and I really think you can get a wide range of looks out of this palette, which is another reason why I think it's worth it. It's not just a palette of reds. You do have a wide variety. You have gold, you have some neutrals, you have a bright Barbie pink which I don't have in any other of my palettes or singles. You've got purples, you've got reds. It really is a beautiful palette and I do like that it has 18 shades. I think between 18 and 20 shades is like the max for a good palette. If you get anything more than that, like if you go jump into like the Morphe palettes or anything where it's like a huge variety of colors and shades where like they all end up being the same like 20 shades of brown, you really don't need that. I think the most you could really utilize in a palette is 18 to 20 shades. So I'm really excited about this palette. I'm glad I was able to pick it up. It is now sold out, unfortunately, but he is doing pre-orders on his website right now for the next shipment. And the website says it will come back in stock in between four and five weeks. So if this is something that you've been thinking about, if it's been on your mind, I would suggest doing that pre-order and then you're guaranteed a palette once he restocks. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel today to hear my thoughts on this new palette. What do you think? Were you able to pick one up or are you thinking about getting one yourself? Go ahead and let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. So don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you did like the video and I hope you'll subscribe before you leave today and I hope you have a great day. Bye!